This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Chesapeake Eye Center. Well, in the past 50 years, sunglasses have become a big part of pop culture, from Elvis to Jackie Kennedy, Elton John to Tom Cruise. I mean, you know, risky business mm -hmm. in Top Gun. Sunglasses have made some pretty bold statements. And why not? Sunglasses are a relatively inexpensive accessory, but they are also very important when it comes to protecting your eyes. And I recently got the opportunity to head out on the water with Dr. Catherine Smoot of Chesapeake Eye Center to learn more about the importance and versatility of shades. Whether you're hitting the slopes, taking a walk in the garden, or heading out on the water, Dr. Catherine Smoot of Chesapeake Eye Center says you need to wear sunglasses. You need sunglasses for function, fashion, and fun. <laughs> and although many of us choose sunglasses based on fashion and fun, function should be the number one priority. Mm -hmm. The primary um, function for sunglasses is to block the ultraviolet rays coming in. Even that can be tailored for you. We have different types of lenses that perform different functions depending on what your activities are, what time of day, what the lighting conditions are. Lens choices include color lens, mirror, and polarized, each with a different function. Probably the greatest all-purpose lens is the gray or green lens that um, blocks the majority of the transmission of light. It lets your colors be the truest. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're pretty good for all round bright sunny days like today. Dr. Smoot says a gray or green lens absorbs a lot of ultraviolet light. On a cloudy day, she recommends an amber lens. An amber lens gives us heightened contrast, especially on the water. But if you're on the water on a bright sunny day, Dr. Smoot says sunglasses with polarization are probably your best bet. Polarization is where uh, the lenses are able to block the reflected horizontal light rays and only let vertical light rays in. And it gives you a lot of contrast, cuts down glare, and your mind, your eyes prefer that vertical alignment. That's why we block out the horizontal rays. Mirrored sunglasses reflect harmful rays rather than absorb them, giving the wearer brighter vision. Dr. Smoot says this is important because of studies that show the damage that can be done to your eyes by the sun. Well, if you go back historically, when we look at our Waterman study, it talked about the effect of ultraviolet radiation and the formation of cataracts. Uh, remember, your retina is very metabolic. Light is stimulating it. So you know, protecting it, there's still, jury's still out about macular degeneration, but I encourage anybody to wear sunglasses not only to help prevent cataract formation, but to protect their macula from the direct insult of all the lights. Practicality aside, Dr. Smoot says sunglasses are just plain fun. But fashion always changes year to year, and you can always see that when you look at your celebrities. Um, we've uh, come off a time where we're kind of in an aviator, modified aviator style. You'll see a lot of that. Uh, you'll see a lot of the cat eyes you have on a very modified, fun, kind of cat eye type of appearance. Uh, I expect that in the next year or two, you'll see again those big oversized, kind of like grandma used to have type of things. And these fashions are all cyclical, is what they will do is they will take a specific style and just modify it for the year or the decade, if you will. And, but it's always fun. I mean, the way I look at it, if you're going to have glasses and sunglasses, have fun with it. And, of course, sunglasses can play double duty if you wear prescription lenses. Most of your really high-quality sunglasses, you can put prescription in, and you can put the prescription in usually in the brown or the green. Sometimes some of the ambers, it's a little more difficult to get rx or some of the specialty lenses like the mirrored or the rose color might be a little more challenging, but different, different uh, lines, different manufacturers have different options. Some sunglasses even have interchangeable lenses, making the options available limitless. And Dr. Smoot says the frames for sunglasses are getting pretty versatile as well. Designers are mixing textures such as metal and wood. You can even get sunglasses made from melted down vinyl records. If you would like to read more about Dr. Smoot and Chesapeake Eye Center, go to our website, delmarvalife.com.